Hey, my name is Melinda Elmer and I'm with the Elmer team at Century 21 Masters. And today I'm going to be talking about what is an appraisal and why is it important? So first of all, what is an appraisal? An appraisal is an opinion of the bank and the appraiser of the property to determine what they feel like the property is worth. Now they base that value on a number of considerations. Mostly they look at the considerations of how your property or a property that you're buying may compare to the similar properties that have sold recently or are currently on the market. They compare the features and benefits and the upgrades to the similar properties that have sold recently and determine based on that what your property may sell for if they had to sell it tomorrow at a foreclosure auction, for example. The process itself is that the appraiser is going to come out to the property, they're going to take some photos and measurements of the property, and they're going to do a thorough evaluation of similar properties that have sold recently and research all of those homes. Now remember, it is always an opinion of value. Ultimately, a home is worth what a buyer is willing to buy it for and a seller is willing to sell it for, and meeting in the middle. The appraiser is there purely to determine if the value can be supported by similar homes that have sold. The person who actually is the appraiser is, the person who, is a person who is hired by the lender in this case. So the lender has a independent third party group that they go to, kind of like a clearinghouse. They basically go to this, to this organization and that way there's some separation between the lender and the appraiser and they're not influencing the appraisal in any way. The appraiser will go out do an evaluation of the property and they send the appraisal back through this management company in order to again make sure that there's some separation between the lender and the appraiser themselves. Now the appraisal can have an effect on a buyer in several different ways. Let's say you're doing a conventional loan. The bank is only going to loan 80% of the value of your property if you're doing 20% down. Now the appraiser is going to come out and look at the home and if they evaluate that the property is worth more or less than what the home is valued at, there's two different ways that that can go. If the appraisal is about lower than what the purchase price is on the property, then either one of a couple things can happen. <clears throat> one, you as a buyer can get the price lowered to what the appraised value is, then you would still have your loan amount be 80%. Of the, purchase price, of the purchase price of the loan amount that the property was appraised for. Or sometimes what will happen is in a very hot market like we have today, a seller may ask the buyer to pay a little bit more and split the difference between what the appraisal value was and what the agreed upon price was. Or in some cases, you may need to pay the entire difference outside of that amount. But the lender will still only loan you 80% of what the appraised value is. So it's something to be aware of when you're looking at uh, an appraisal or if you're deciding to remove your appraisal contingency as often it is in a multiple offer bidding situation. Now the appraisal can affect seller in a way in that same thing that I just mentioned. Uh, if the appraisal comes in lower, the buyer may not have the additional funds to pay the difference and a price may need to be lowered. This is oftentimes why a cash buyer is more attractive because there is no appraisal contingency. Or someone who has a larger down payment can be a more attractive buyer because there doesn't have to be an appraisal to the property. Or if there is, they still have plenty of money even if the appraisal comes in lower, that they can still buy the property whether or not the appraisal comes in. People who have less money down don't have as much flexibility to pay the difference so those more money down buyers can be more attractive for a seller versus say a three and a half or four or even five percent down buyer. 
In addition, there is another kind of an appraisal that is done out there, and it's called a time of death evaluation. <clears throat> so if you know of someone who's lost a loved one recently, that's actually a service that we can provide here at the Elmer team free of charge. So we can help out with determining the valuation of the property at the time that your loved one passed away. So if you know someone who needs that help, let us know. If you have any other questions about appraisals or time of death evaluations, let us know. You can reach me at 562-316-2915 or email me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please share this with your friends and on all the social media sites as well.